Toad away, toad away, where do you go when you're toad away? Toad away, toad away, oh, where do you go when you're toad away? Good afternoon, folks. <laughs> a little something to ponder about. Uh, flash from the past. Comment section. Let me know if you know where that came from. Uh, it's Sunday evening, and when you're like I am, and probably most of you are, where you DIY not just the cars you're working on, but probably most of the stuff around your house can get rather aggravating and I've run into the same problem today trying to fix a leak in the master bath shower born made parts nothing fits went to the big box store four times and still don't have the right parts I'm gonna have to try to find a plumbing contractor now to probably spend God, I don't know, to change out the plumbing hardware because none of the parts that are available today fit the plumbing hardware that was installed in the home in the shower re uh, renovation several years ago. <laughs> God love us all. Hey, Thanksgiving's coming up. I hope you all have a wonderful day, uh, holiday, eat lots, Fellowship a lot, love a lot, and be careful on the roads. Please, I don't want to hear about you on the news. So today, I haven't gotten squat done, <laughs> which is typical. So what we're going to do is, uh, I have gotten a little bit done with the front suspension, and we're going to kind of do a speed longer. And we're going to go down and I'm going to show you what the underside of this thing looks like and some of my thoughts and concerns. So, let's go. Ugh. All right. To start off with, and this has been a progress uh, report, we do have... The tie rod assemblies for the left side done. Finally, after a lot of heat, uh, prayer, uh, foul words, and uh, suspension tools, we got everything off the right side, so we now have those ready. They've all been uh, factory. Uh, well, this one hadn't been tightened up yet, uh, but it will be but they've all been uh, rust protected and everything has grease surfs. That's one of the things that kills suspensions, non-maintenance of the greasing of the joints. And that's why so many, you, you don't see grease surfs in anything today. Heck no. All right, bear with me, boys and girls. I've been, fussing with a bad back and lower hip area all week long and so I'm moving a little slow well, let's get up here in the bright lights and see what we can see uh, well this is the underside of the left oh I may have to adjust those lights it just might be a little too much too bright all right uh, all right, see if I can zoom back here a little bit. There we go. All right, so we've got this. And, ow. We've got 
all of this assembly here, which oh, we also have our torsion bars. Yeah, right. Let me see if I can get back under here a little better. Hmm, there's a starter. Uh, okay, I don't want to end up accidentally pushing a button and stopping the video, so bear with me as I kind of crawl around under here a little bit. Uh, just try to adjust some of this lighting so it's not blinding me or you. All right. So, we've got to get these torsion bars out. We've got to get these bushings and everything, uh, redone my secret Santa has assured me that the tool that we need will be probably showing up for Christmas thank you secret Santa uh so we finally got the tie rods off but now we've got to deal with these and though Idle arms and, you know, uh, all of this because, honestly, I do need to inspect a little bit more, but on, I I have no faith that this stuff is in any better shape than anything else I've pulled off the front end so far. <laughs> Why would I have any doubt that this stuff needs to be dealt with just like everything else has? So I'm not even going to try to deal with that as far as uh, seeing if I can use it. I mean, look, this doesn't even have a grease arc in it. The boo's just, you know, hard and flat and God knows. Uh, slide back over here a little bit more. Yeah, we still got a whole bunch of crap to clean off there, huh, don't we? Yeah, well, you know... And we still got to finish getting all the brakes figured out and hooked up. And let's slide back on this way a little bit. And at some point, we do have to replace the pan gasket and filter on the transmission. Because it does show some leakage. But I get back here, and I'm sorry I don't have my light. Uh, maybe... Uh, again, squirm around, squirm around, Let's see if I can do something here with that, set something on fire with these lights, all right, well, it's kind of hard to tell, but if you look back over here, you see, we've been getting a lot of the old crap like this off of the undercarriage. Many reasons for doing that. One, we need to find out what kind of shape these floor pans are underneath all the gunk because somebody came in here years ago with a rattle can undercoating and it wasn't prepped. They sprayed over an encapsulated dirt and God knows what else. Probably a dead raccoon I haven't found yet. But, uh, <clears throat> so we're getting all that cleaned out and off. So I know where, if any, and I really don't think I'm going to have any real issues. <laughs> Oddly enough, with them just overly coating everything under here with that, it probably protected this underside for all these years sitting better than a lot of things would have. Certainly if no protection had been under here, this would all have probably been gone. But it is a chore to get off. Now, brake clean works great. You can just soak everything down real good with brake clean, let it set for a couple hours and come back with your little scraper or putty knife and you can get a lot off and I have. But brake clean's not cheap either and so, you know, uh, my budget's, you know, I gotta spend it where I can and uh, 
it seems like the last couple of weeks, most of my budget has not gone for stuff that has worked out correctly and has to be returned and got away from refunds or there's been additional expenses added to the overall budget. And, well, you know, you do it as you can. And so, you know, you get out here and you make do with what you got. So you get the scraper and and you just uh, uh, get a little elbow grease instead of super clean or, you know, uh, super clean, good. And it works pretty good on this, too. Got to let it soak a little bit longer. Second, third applications are helpful. But, you know, if you don't have the money or to go out and buy all the super high-powered cleaners or if you don't have this thing set up on a jack, you know, up on a lift outside somewhere where you get under it with a pressure washer, which is wish I really wish I could do because I can have this all done up in about two and a half hours instead of two to six weeks. But that's another story for another day. Anyway, so... Slowly working to finish, getting that side finished on the rear brakes. We got the lines run. I've still got to do some fine tuning on these. They, it's a great line kit from a U -line, a YouTube line, or what is it? U-Line Tubes or something like that. Uh, it's about $150 for the complete kit of hard lines. Uh, good quality material. I like it very much. I've just got to get it all, you know, prettied up and put back in the right places. I'm there, kind of, sort of. Uh, just that wheel is done. I've just got the hub off of it right now for reference purposes. You know, whatever. So, uh, continue to clean this up around here. Uh, I think the U-joints are fine right now. Well, obviously, we're not using them, so I'm not going to worry about those. But, like I said, right now, a lot of it is, I'm trying to focus on, yeah, getting that stuff done, because we still got all the front stuff to do up here. Like, eventually, replace this monstrosity of, of what's left of the exhaust system. I mean, they really came in here and Jake laid a, Jake laked a whole bunch of stuff when it came to the exhaust system. But we won't go into that at the moment. So this is kind of where I'm at right now. I'm laying on my back under this car going, holy cow. She's going to be just a, I'll tell you what, when this sucker's done, she's going to ride like a brand new Cadillac. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the steering, what little mileage I got to drive her before I put her on jack stands because she had no brakes, the steering and the suspension was actually felt great. <laughs> I'm surprised considering when I started pulling some of these parts off and seeing them just disintegrate my hands. Well, kind of like my uh, camera did just then. So, uh, that's where we're at. Appreciate all you guys watching, following. We're slowly growing. Thank you all who have subscribed. Please consider subscribing. You know, I'm not going to ask you for any donations or monies or to buy Mercs, you know. Uh, but I would appreciate your comments, sharing, and chime in because, yeah, it's my project, but you guys are invited to be a part of it in your own way. Thanks again. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And if I can get out from under the car, I think I'm going to go see if I can have something, a cold and adult for a beverage. Bye-bye.